What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? Happy, happy, happy Monday. I hope everyone is having a great, beautiful, and blessed day. So listen, it's Monday. It's the beginning of the week. Um, and we need to learn to start our week off great. And I said this before, and I'm going to continue to say it. Look at Mondays different. Look at Monday is the start of a fresh week, the start um, of being able to make your week great because I feel like how you start your week is in alignment to how your week ends. Overall, how your entire week goes just by how the start of it was, right? So, um, yeah, so let's try to, you know, get some motivation in, uh, uh, of course, every day. But I like to get a little bit of more motivation in on Mondays, right? Motivation Monday. Hello, let's get it. So y'all already know how I'm coming. Y'all ready to get right or get left? Hey. <laughs> so anyway, okay, so um, as y'all know, like, um, I'm very into God. So, you know, I went to God sometimes, well, most of the time I go and figure out um what it is that he wants me to give a message about and he told me to give a message about love and authority and at first I was like kind of struggling a little bit I'm like okay lord you know at first I'm like did I hear you right because I'm sitting here trying to figure out how am I going to put the two and two together so then I had to go back and ask him again like okay well god are you sure did you really say that because I'm not really seeing or understanding how I'm supposed to connect the two together. But then as I sat quiet, he revealed to me exactly how, so I got it. So, okay, let's get into it. So, we all know that love is very key. It's very important, right? We all need to express love not only to ourselves, but also to others as well as, most importantly, to God as well. So, um... The love that we have for God, right? He expresses the love that we should have countless times throughout the Bible. Um, and, of course, you we have to love, honor our mother and thy father always, you know. Um, and, of course, God, hello. You know, really the love, I feel like the overall love that we show him, the love that we have for him is going to express you know, the love that we initially have for ourselves and for others because, I, you know, we it starts with him. Everything is with him. And once we are so right within God, everything else will follow and everything else will be right in our lives too. And we will learn how to live right, love right, right? So when you really have a deep love for God, right? It One thing that he, example he gives in the Bible is, you know, when it comes to marriage, like he wants, a wife to find a husband who loves her like he loves the church, like God loves the church, right? So that's a real deep and passionate love, you know, a real true love. And the biggest one that I know, including myself, that most of us, if not all of us struggle with, is loving thy neighbor like you, like you love thyself. And when I say struggle with, when it comes to even your enemies, that's the biggest one because, I mean, who wants to sit here and be kind and nice and love your enemies? Someone who has done you so wrong, crossed you, just lied about you, talks about you, whatever it may be, you know. But I feel like one reason why he says this too is because he also says that he will make our enemies our footstools. So, you know, if we learn to love everyone including those enemies then he would his mercy upon us would be so great right okay so again when it comes to this love that we possess once he sees that we have this love for him and for others that unlocks the power that's down on the inside of us that allows him to say, hey, I know I now can trust your heart for real. I trust you and I trust your heart to be able to learn how to have the power and authority. Hence, 
the ruling over things as well as other people. Let me try to make this make a whole lot of sense, right? So once your heart posture, because we all, God looks at the heart. So once he sees your heart posture is full of this love that you have the love to give to, again, yourself, your enemies, him, whoever. Once he sees your heart posture. Do you know he can trust you? Because that's the biggest thing. When you can overcome and love everybody. And I do mean everybody. He knows that you are capable of power and authority. Because he wants us to have these things. He wants us to be able to rule over our dominion. The territories that he has for us. But he can't give us power and authority over things if he can't trust us mainly our hearts because that's what he looks at so that's how i connected the two together is is okay god you need me to be able to really love fully to really be able to possess a power to be able to rule and have authority over the the things you want me to rule over and the people and the ruling over people is not a bad thing you know and some of us may look at it like that you know and, and especially in the marriage right women are supposed to be submissive but a man has to know how to lead have that authority over his household in order for a woman to be able to submit to her i mean submit to him right but again it all comes with how you know how to first love and lead authority that's how those two go hand in hand the same goes for the territories that he wants us to have that he already has set up for us if we learn how to look once again if our heart posture is right he knows that he can trust us with the things that he wants us to rule over because, because he, we know, he knows that we have the, not only the mind, but most importantly, the heart to be able to pour out and be able to express and be able to handle and control the territories that he wants us to have that control, that power, that authority over because Loving everybody is a part of you controlling your emotions. You understand it? You be able to control your emotions. Like you're not letting, you know, the things, the hurts, the betrayal take over you. The love overpowers all of that. See, because you have the power over your emotions. So he would give you the power to have that authority over people and things you guys so today let this marinate in your minds and in your hearts that to know that we have to possess the love for everybody no matter how hard it is and listen easier said than done i know but be in God and his word and he will help you through it because he's helping me to become more like him and less like me, my flesh, right? And that's going to help me to gain the power and the authority that he also ever wants to give me. So if you too want to have that same love, power, and authority, go to him and he will help you get there in due time okay so listen as always that's what well, that was a lot i know you know but that's what he told me to do and i had to be obedient with the messages you know what i'm saying whether i understand them or not but now i understand it so listen we have to learn to express that love so that again we can have that, that power y'all that authority over whatever it is he wants us to have it over so listen as always it's always, it's always, it's always be motivated, but most importantly, stay inspired.